Parsley is the first herb mentioned in Simon and Garfunkel's seminal hit, Scarborough Fair. It's a well-known culinary herb which comes in three varieties. The most well-known is the curly type, which was used to decorate food in posh restaurants or to make a sauce for fish when I was a kid. The botanical name for this is Petrosilinum crispum, variety crispum. Then there's Italian flat-leaved parsley, Petrosilinum crispum, variety Neapolitanum, or you might find it labelled variety latifolium, which has become popular more recently. I've heard some people even eat it in salads. Finally, there's a type grown for roots, mainly in Hungary and surrounding parts, which is Petrosilinum crispum, variety tuberosum. The roots look very similar to parsnips, but apparently they taste quite different. You can use the leaves of this tuberous rooted type like regular parsley, although most people throw them away. Any of these types can be used for the remedies listed here. Parsley is biennial, so you can either buy plants from the nursery or sow seed in April and August for a year-round crop. You'll need to do this two years in a row if you want seeds. When sowing, the seeds take some time to germinate, so soak them overnight before sowing and don't give up if your seedlings don't show for a couple of months. If growing in the ground, thin out or transplant so there's about 9 inches or 22 centimetres between plants. Wherever you grow it, try and find it a semi-shaded area in rich soil unlike most herbs and water in dry weather. If you want to collect the seeds, allow the plants to flower. Otherwise, cut off flowering stems as soon as they appear for the best crop of leaves. If you live in an area with cold winters, either bring pots indoors or provide protection in the winter months. The parts of the plant normally used for herbal medicine are the seeds and the leaves. You can store the leaves in the freezer or dry them. Remember that if you want to use parsley medicinally, it's important that it's grown organically so that its properties are not masked and you don't end up with toxic ingredients like pesticides in your remedies. Before I go any further, you need to know that parsley is not suitable for use in large amounts or as a herbal remedy by pregnant women or anyone suffering from a kidney disorder. The standard infusion is made by putting two to four teaspoonfuls of chopped fresh leaves or one to two teaspoons of dried in a pot, adding 250 ml, that's one American cup or eight fluid ounces of boiling water and leaving to stand for 15 minutes to four hours before straining and drinking. Take no more than one cup of this per day. Parsley is carminative and diuretic and a good source of iron and vitamins C and A. Adding the leaves to salads is helpful for people who suffer from anemia or who need a general tonic. You can also chew the leaves to guard against bad breath, especially after eating onions or garlic. The standard infusion is useful for anemia, arthritis, painful periods, fluid retention and urinary disorders not kidney disorders. To treat coughs, bronchitis and asthma, you can make a parsley tincture. To make this, you need a bottle of vodka or other white alcoholic spirit of the type you might buy to drink, not surgical spirit. Measure out 670 ml of vodka and add 330 ml of water to make one litre. Put 200 grams of chopped parsley into an airtight container and pour over the vodka and water mixture. Seal tightly and put in a cool place. You need to shake the mixture once or twice a day for two weeks, then strain to remove the herbs, squeezing them so as to get as much of the liquid out as you can. Store in brown glass bottles and make sure you label them. The dosage is one teaspoonful or five ml three times a day. If you suffer from flatulence, gas or wind, Chewing a teaspoonful of seeds will help. Don't use seeds from a seed packet, as these will most likely have been dressed with chemicals. If you don't have any fresh parsley, I've got some dried organic parsley in my shop at Franzalt Health.